What's going on guys? My name is Wade with Tech Daily, and it's that time of the year once again. Let's go ahead and unbox the new iPhone 6s Plus. The outside of the box shows off the phone itself along with one of the new live wallpapers. On the back we have all the general information about the phone. On the sides we have the iPhone 6s Plus text, and on the top and bottom just an Apple logo. So we'll go ahead and cut into the cellophane wrapping, peel it off, flip open the lid on the box, and there is the new iPhone 6s Plus in the new rose gold color. We'll pull it on out of the box and set it to the side for just a second as we see what else we get inside the package. Inside the usual design by Apple in California booklet, you get a collection of literature including a small guide to the iPhone, some legal info, and two Apple stickers. You also get the usual Apple earpods with a microphone and volume controls, a wall plug for charging, and a lightning cable. In peeling off the last bit of plastic wrap on the phone, we finally get to see the new iPhone 6s Plus. I picked it up in the new rose gold color because I wanted something new and different. On camera, the color is a little more dull, but in person, it's definitely a bit more pink than I expected, but to me, that's not really a big deal. Now, if you've been rocking last year's iPhone 6 Plus like I have, it's pretty hard to tell the difference between the two aside from the color. Side by side, you can hardly tell the difference at all, aside from the small S logo on the back of the 6s Plus. However, the new 6s 6S Plus is a few millimeters thicker and a few millimeters taller than last year's phone, and it's also a bit heavier. The housing of the 6S Plus also consists of the new 7000 series aluminum that's found on the Apple Watch Sport, which means this new iPhone should be much more solid and sturdy and much less bendable than last year's. Of course, the new iPhone 6S Plus has plenty of other new features, including 3D Touch, which I'm really excited to try out. 4K video recording for the first time on iPhone, and live photos which seem pretty interesting so far. I'll have plenty more videos covering all of the new features for the iPhone 6S Plus throughout the weekend, so be sure to check back to the Tech Daily YouTube channel for more iPhone success coverage. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing. Let me know what you think of the new iPhone 6S in the comments below, and if you'll be picking it up. And definitely let me know what videos you'd like to see me make about the new iPhone. Also, be sure to follow Tech Daily on Twitter, and subscribe to the Tech Daily YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys later.